Have you ever noticed that a good portion of the things in the universe are shaped like a sphere? Stars, planets, and moons are all spherical. Why? It all comes down to gravity. All the atoms in an object pull towards a common center of gravity, and they're resisted outwards by whatever forces holding them apart. The final result could be a sphere, but not always, as we're about to learn. Consider a glass of water. If you could see the individual molecules jostling around, you'd see them trying to fit as snugly as they can, water tension making the top of the water smooth and even. Imagine a planet made entirely of water. If there was no winds, it would be perfectly smooth. The water molecules on the North Pole are pulling towards the molecules on the South Pole, and the ones on the left side are pulling towards the right, with all points pulling towards the center of the mass you would get a perfect sphere. Gravity and surface tension pull it in, and molecular forces are pushing it outward. And if you could hold the massive water droplet in an environment where it would remain undisturbed, eventually the water would reach a perfect balance. This is known as hydrostatic equilibrium. Stars, planets, and moons can be made of gas, ice, or rock. Get enough mass in one area and it's going to pull all that stuff into a roughly spherical shape. Less massive objects, such as asteroids, comets, and smaller moons, have less gravity, and so they may not pull into perfect spheres. As you know, most of the celestial bodies we've mentioned rotate on an axis, and guess what? These ones aren't actually spheres either. The rapid rotation flattens out the middle and makes them wider across the equator than from pole to pole. Earth is a perfect example of this, and we call this shape an oblate spheroid. Jupiter is even more flattened because it spins more rapidly. A day on Jupiter is a short 9.9 .9 hours long, which leaves the distorted imperfect sphere 71,500 kilometers across the equator, but just 66,900 from pole to pole. Stars are similar. Our Sun rotates slowly, so it's almost a perfect sphere. But then there are stars out there which spin very quickly. VFTS 102, a giant star in the Tarantula Nebula, is spinning 100 times faster than the Sun. Any faster, and it would tear itself apart from, from centripetal forces. This oblate spheroid shape helps indicate why there are lots of flattened disks out there. This rapid spinning where centripetal forces overcome gravitational interaction that creates this shape. And you can see it in black hole accretion disks, the solar system, and galaxies. Objects tend to form into spheres if they're massive enough. They'll overcome the forces preventing it, but if they're spinning rapidly enough, they'll flatten out all the way into disks. So what do you think? What's your favorite spherical or quasi-spherical object out there in the universe? Tell us in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Never miss an episode by clicking subscribe. And we couldn't do this without the members of our Patreon community. People like Graham Elton and the many others who join us and help create and deliver great space and astronomy content. If you'd like to join our community, which gets you advanced access to episodes as well as extras and behind the scenes content, click here and head on over to Patreon. I am literally almost blinded. All right. The final result could, could be a sphere, but not a, oh, sorry. Did I move myself back to the right spot?